Hey, what's up YouTube? Chris Gardner here. Got a new video for you. First one in a while. Tutorial about how you can do this to your real estate photos. Now that it's that kind of cooler time of year, we got some snow outside around where I am and it's always good to show a nice warm fireplace if you can. Uh, one of the things I am sometimes asked about is doing this, turning a fireplace on. Now there's some considerations that you need to talk with your realtor about, you know, what type of fireplace it is and or whether or not it's actually operational before you do this, um, you know, so it's kind of a by request only, you know, just to make sure everyone's on the up and up, you could say. Communication is always key. So before we even get started, recommending you do that first. So easy as that, let's get rid of this. Start all over again. So first things first, where do I source a photo for a fireplace? Well, number one, you could take them or number two, equally easy and sometimes faster. Let's go to a website called Pexels, sometimes Pixabay, uh, all kinds. And my search I like to use is just fireplace. And I'll just show you how we pick one. As you can see, you know, there's all kinds of things like that. Not gonna be useful, not gonna be useful, not gonna be useful. This on the other hand, great one. Why is that? Well, it's generally dark and also we have it a pretty square head on view, which is most of the time how we're doing fireplaces. It's going to be replacing something with a pretty um, standard view. And at least this one will be easy to manipulate for us later. And anyways, uh, you know, and just make sure that it's not cut off at any point too. You want to have the whole top to the flame, ideally. And you know, this one's not even in a fireplace, may not look entirely good when you put it in something like this. So let's go back into Photoshop and this will work in GIMP. Basically, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, it's fairly basic uh, techniques we're using to blend this all in. Uh, so here we are, this is a, a property I photographed recently and we are just going to drag our photo in. All right, there we go. So let's drop it in and let's just get it down to the approximate size. I'm holding shift to make sure it scales properly. We don't stretch anything and just anywhere close is good. Okay. Now let's go zoom in on our workspace and I'm going to aim to get it about the width of, you know, let's say taking this point here and this point here, I want to be about the same width as those points on here. So I think that's, you know, on, on this existing fireplace. So I think that's pretty good. Now let's uh, bring it into place. I'm going to go now. This is the, what I think is the most important part is once we start this transforming, we don't want to get out of it. So we're never going to hit this check mark until we're fully happy with how it looks. So starting with perspective, I'm going to just start by trying to line up this top parallel line with uh, this, you know, top parallel here, and then this bottom line parallel with these. And uh, so I'm going to start somewhere in the middle and then we're going to scale it out with perspective. Okay, that might be a little too far. And you know, this, this part is going to be different for every photo, but you'll, you'll get the hang of it, you know, based on uh, the scene you're shooting and how you typically end up having to replace them. So let's go back to scale now a little bit. Now I'm just trying to arrange basically this bottom line here with uh, this bottom line here. And all we have to do is we're going to go for a screen. And so that's just going to take what we have and kind of overlay it on top of some of the blocks that are there. Uh, so, you know, this one kind of hard to tell because this is already pretty dark, but when it's brighter, you know, it'll let the fire sit on top of the logs you might see in your real scene. Yeah, when you do this screen and uh, the other thing is we're going to have some of this fall off. You see, we got lots of red around here. We're just going to go double click on that layer and let's just make sure that nothing that's completely uh, dark. You see, it's starting to taper off around there. We're going to go a little less and then fade it just like that. And boom, let's zoom out, see how we do. Oh, and you know what? I just noticed here. 
we've got flame clipping outside that would be a bad situation for our fireplace so let's go ahead and cut that off there for sure and it looks like it should even be a little bit less pronounced over here so that's all we got for you today let me know if that's helpful to you on your journey. Maybe you're a photographer, maybe you are just editing for a real estate photographer, um, but this should be able to come in handy, you know, depending on the uh, locale that you work in, you know, fireplaces and, you know, cozy looking living rooms, especially in the season I'm in right now are pretty popular in my area. So this is a good little trick to uh, have in your tool bag. Anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know what you want to see next or if I left anything out of this and you have any questions. Take care.